In this video, we're going to be taking a look at some capacitors that are in combination with each other, two that are in series, along with another one that is in parallel with those two. And we're going to be finding the charge and the voltage for each of the individual capacitors, and we're going to get some total values as well first. So anytime you're working with a combination of capacitors, you definitely want to take care of all of your series circuits first. So let's go ahead and take a look at these two that are wired up in a series with each other. And what we want to do is add up the inverses of them and then set that equal to the inverse of the total capacitance. So one over four plus one over six equals one over CT. If we do lowest common denominator, we can go ahead and make this six over 24 plus four over 24, which is equal to 10 over 24. And then that is the inverse of the total capacitance. So the actual total capacitance itself is going to be that fraction flipped, which is 2.4 microfarads. So both of these in combination with each other only have a total capacitance of 2.4 because they basically act like one large capacitor with a increased distance in between them. So their total capacitance combined is less than each individually. Now, with that being said, anytime you add up capacitors in parallel, you just simply sum them up. So if you want to find the total capacitance of the entire circuit, that's pretty simple. All we do is 6 plus 2.4, and that equals 8.4 microfarads for the total capacitance of the entire circuit. Now we can also find the total charge of the entire circuit. Charge is going to equal C times V, the total capacitance multiplied by the total voltage. And we know that's going to be a total capacitance of 8.4 times the voltage of 12 volts because they're wired in parallel. Each branch is going to have a poten potential difference of 12 volts. And then the total in itself is going to be 12. So 8.4 times 12 is going to give us 100.8 microcoulombs as our total charge for the entire circuit. Now that we found all the total values, we know that the total voltage or potential difference is 12 volts as shown right there. Our total capacitance is 8.4 microfarads and our total charge is 100.8 microcoulombs. Now let's go ahead and solve for um, all of those same individual values for this one over here, the six microfarad. Uh, now obviously we already have the individual capacitance we know that the voltage across this is going to be 12 volts because it's 12 volts across each branch. And then we can get the Q value pretty easily because Q equals C times V. So 6 times 12 is 72. So that's 72 microcoulombs for the charge. And then we have all of our values for our 6 microfarad red capacitor. Now for these ones, it's going to take a little bit more work. So let's go back and take a look at our total capacitance of 2.4 over here. What we're going to do is use that. And then we're going to say that the Q value is equal to 2.4 microfarads as the total capacitance. And then we know that entire branch gets the full potential difference of 12 volts across both of those. And then if we take 2.4 times 12, we get 28.8 microcoulombs. So the way it works for capacitors in series, both of them get the same charge. So this one gets 28.8 microcoulombs. And then this one also gets 28.8 microcoulombs. And then we just have to do one more calculation. So we're going to get the individual voltage drops. We know they sum up to 12. So we should have two answers that are smaller to, than 12 that sum up to 12. So if we just rearrange this a bit, then it would be V equals Q divided by C. And we know that the Q for each one is going to be this number over here. 
28.8. So then if we just took 28.8 and divided it by four, we get 7.2 volts. And then if we do 28.8 divided by six for the green one, we get 4.8. And that concludes all of our solutions. We have the individual capacitance, we have the voltage across each capacitor, and we have the charge for each capacitor as well as all the totals. So when you're taking a look at capacitors that are in combination with each other, definitely take a look at the series ones first, combine them, and then you can combine them with the other one that's in parallel as we did with the red one when we did six plus the 2.4. And then we kind of got all the total values that way and then worked our way backwards to go ahead and find all of those individual values. So I hope that was helpful to you. Thank you for watching and listening.